So, today I'm going to be talking about Bakun Barres. Ta-da! First of all, I have to say that I am not sponsored by Bakun for this video or I'm not a Bakun artist, but I do this video only for you guys because you ask me a lot if I've ever tried Bakun Barres or clarinets or if I like them, if I ever use them. So the answer is yes. I used Bakun Barils for a long time when I was playing with Senna Signature clarinets. So it was my old clarinets. Now I'm performing with Senna Privilege. I really love this model. And after buying these clarinets, I never ever used another barrel. Which means that it will be the first time that I will try to play with Bakun Barrios with this clarinet. So I am also as excited as you to try them out. Before I play with them, I would like to explain what kind of Bakun models I have. So here's the first one. It's a new traditional model Bakun Barrios. Its shape is different. Then the other ones I have, this one is kind of like a long and thin one. Also, the wood is a different color. It's quite like a usual black wood, but on the corner, you see on the top and the bottom part, it's like kind of reddish. And also this one was helping uh, with the sound a lot. I also really like the intonation. I mean, this was my aim actually to switch to another barrels when I was playing with Samar signature clarinets, because I had some intonation problem after using them like for five years. And uh, I was searching for a new kind of sound and uh, I was in search of like new mouthpieces and the barrels and everything but I ended up buying new clarinets and after I bought this semi privilege I just left everything behind and say okay the problem is solved this one had also some stuff about the intonation let's see what's gonna happen with my new clarinet because I really didn't like this Shalumo notes with this barrel that's why I switched to the second one. So the second one is the MOBA model. It's the Coco Bolo wood. It has like a really, really nice, really beautiful color. Kind of reddish, like brownish and like some black. The sound was the most beautiful with this and the intonation was quite well. But of course my clarinet had some problems so it didn't help 100%. But so here is the third one. This is also another MOBA model. This was a gift from uh, my tutor in Opera House in Zurich, where I worked for two years as an intern. He saw that I like Bakun Barrios and he was like, okay, if you like them, maybe you should give it a try. Also this model. I think that I'm going to keep this one forever because it's a really nice souvenir from Robert Pickup. So let's see how they sound. I am super curious. Let's go for it. So here is the first one, new traditional model. So each time to try, I will play C major scale at the beginning. Now I'm going to do two octaves. first impression is that the sound is really focused and it's like really round I don't know actually it might be even better than my barrel it's always the same dilemma yeah I don't want to get confused about it but yeah let's just give them a try about the intonation and the sound it's not quite good for the Shaluma notes it was the same problem with my older clarinets now I'm like kind of getting quite sure that it's not me it's the barrier okay now I'm gonna put the tuner and I'm gonna check the intonation because with my clarinets it's always quite like perfect and I'm really curious what's gonna happen with this one <laughs> It 
it's like flat, sharp. Maybe I should try with the different finger positions. But it's still like with this airy sound, you know? I don't have this normally. So it's quite resistant. I think my barrel has a deeper sound, it's more focused. I think this is something completely different. Wow, yes, it's really resistant. Actually, it takes so much air. It's much more difficult to play with this barrel than mine. So this is another point. I mean, I, I, I like the sound. It's not my reference of sound, but I like it. You also might like it. And another thing is that when I'm doing this articulation, it doesn't get it like quite fast. So I'm gonna play something like maybe faster for the articulation stuff. The sound is, starts to become a little bit metallic. You know what I mean? It's too bright. So I'm gonna pass to the other one. And let's see the difference in between them. Barrel number two, Moba Coco Bolo. It looks like kind of baroque clarinet. My first impression, it's also kind of resistant. I like the sound with the other one more. It's strange because I used this barrel for like a year with my old clarinet and now the other one sounds better oh strange okay now that i play two octaves it's a nice sound actually okay now i changed my mind I'm difficult with this stuff. I'm telling you, it's always a big dilemma. That's why I left all those behind and I just play with my material and I really try to not to switch. It's difficult to play with this barrel. Yeah, it's more resistant, but also, you know, uh, with this resistance, it gives more capacity to uh, make a better sound. So you can push it a little bit more than the other one because the other one was like, I tried to play more forte and like strong and uh, more articulated and the sound started to get weaker. But with this one, I think I will have better articulation. <laughs> First of all, I was right about the articulation. It was much better to play articulated phrases with it. And the second thing is that I think that the sound is much better with this because the other one was okay when I was playing piano and like kind of like soft. But this one is the one that you can push a little bit more. So I prefer this. Yes, there you see the articulation is easier with this one. Okay, let's go for the third one. Here is the third one. Another MOBA model. You see, this is a little problem with Bakun barrels. They don't fit every clarinet. So when you buy a Bakun barrel, if you order them on the internet, just be careful of this. It might not fit your clarinet. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you see, but you can maybe see that there's a little blank in the middle 
and it doesn't fit exactly so I can't put the whole barrel in it's longer than it must be which means that it's gonna be more flat which we don't want actually you can check how it looks on the clarinet First impression, I'm confused. That I don't like the sound. It's like too bright and it's not focused enough. I think the other two were like more focused because I really like this focused sound, centered tone. So I prefer it less. <laughs> Tears to play with a focus sound. I don't like it. Okay, I really cannot play with it. I will try to replace my reed. I play again. I will play more forte now. No, it just doesn't respond. I will also try to play staccato now. Yeah, it's easy to make a staccato. Uh, it responds quite fast to the articulation, but we lose the sound. So now let's play three of them in a row. Actually, this is how I choose my reeds. Also, also how I choose the clarinets, etc. You know, when you go choose a clarinet or barre or a mouthpiece, just don't play too much on them because you get used to it. You know, if you play with it, like for 15 minutes, then you start to get used to it. Then you take another one and you're like, oh, the other one was better maybe. You know, you should decide really quick. That's why I think this video is really important to see how you can judge a material at the first sight. I'm just showing you my way of doing it. Now, I really would like to play everything in a row. It's the common time. I played this excerpt from Saint-Saëns Sonat because long phrase and also it's about the sound and uh, also it has some intervals and uh, at the same time it's some shalumo notes that should sound really really clear and like beautiful but as you can see the first one failed 
this sensor sonata for me and the third one also failed big time for the sound so first one was bad about the intonation especially it's shalimo notes and uh, the third one was bad for the sound the second one in my opinion was still the best so if i was going to buy one of them so the three of them were my choices probably i would go for the second one but before i do that i would also try to play some more scales some daily exercises that i work on or uh, some concerto or like some pieces that i'm working on at the moment anything that you play well with your own material make sure that it really sounds as you expect try to record yourself and listen to it it's really difficult to understand if you're alone choosing a material which you're going to pay for it and then you don't want to get disappointed so it's not like reeds that you buy if it's not okay you just trash it you know it's various you see i have three of them i'm okay one was a gift but still i paid for this two of them and i don't even really use them i never even tried them with a new one uh, so just make sure I'm going to play also some other stuff and make more videos about them if you like it if you would like to hear more with these barriers just like the video and please write a comment in the comment section and also please share this video with your friends and the most important thing for me is that you show your support and subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot now I will be more active on YouTube so I hope that you are really happy about that and you will enjoy there will be more presentation and some comparison videos see you next time